Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back. Just out the beach today, it's a beautiful high tide. I'm gonna try my luck for a few whiting on popper today, or surface lures predominantly. I'm using a little stick bait actually at the moment, but it probably will change to a few poppers as well. Anything around 40, 50 mil is, is a lot of fun. Um, a lot of people probably don't relate to catching whiting on lures, especially on surface lures. Um, you know, they're used to using prawns or yabbies or pippies or worms for bait, and yes, it's very effective, but it can be a hell of a lot of fun catching whiting on surface as well. Um, they're so aggressive in the shallow water, they come up and smash a little top water lure, jump like a little barramundi, get airborne. Um, a lot of fun and obviously very good to eat. So I just sort of want to show something a little bit different today um, than what people are usually sort of used to and catching them on bait. So I'm going to try a few lures today. Beautiful day at the beach, nice high tide, water's up nice and high. Should be a few fish um, pushed up here on the flats feeding. Could even get a flathead or a brim as well, so give it a crack. Beautiful little gutter here, you can see the waves breaking here, then goes off to the deeper water. Whiting might be pushed up here with the incoming tide as they're moving up to forage on the uh, newly inundated banks, pushing up. Using a little Bass Day sugar pen today. A little 58 mil version. A little walk the dog stick bait, move side to side, meanders. Keep it moving. Just swallow it. I reckon they're really small whiting, having a go at it. They're not hooking up, but there's quite a few. They're all they're in a school and they're chasing it. They're just not hooking up though. We're pretty small fish, I think. It just goes to show you can catch pretty small fish on lure. It's pretty small whiting on surface. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Got one now. Oh, had one. Oh, no, it's Long Tom. <laughs> it's Long Tom. That explains why I wasn't hooking up. Wow. Such a bony, bony mouth full of teeth. It's hard to find the meat. That explains it. Not whiting. Little Long Tom. Or alligator gar. Hooked him in the back of the head. Rightio then. That puts that to bed. I think he's actually lassoed himself. <laughs> Crazy. Check it out. All right. Chillax, bro. Mm, gnarly teeth. Alligator gar or long tom? Nasty set of teeth. That explains why I wasn't hooking up very well. Just a bony, platy beak with a bunch of teeth and it's very hard to find the meat. But uh, got him. Well, that puts that to bed. Won't cast out there anymore if that's what they are. Keep looking for me whiting. See you, buddy. It did actually bite me too, look. Sharp, needly teeth.
hooked up to something here. It's not very big. I reckon it could be a whiting though. Hoping it's a little whiting, I can show you. It is a whiting. Oh, sweet. There we go. Just the one fish so far, but pretty cool to see. A little whiting on surface. Really, I just wanted to show people at home that you can catch whiting on lures, you can catch whiting on surface lures predominantly. So much fun too. They hit it pretty hard in the shallows. Often jump and get airborne and things. This guy is probably a legal fish, but you know, I'm gonna put him back anyway. Check it out. Whiting on surface. Such aggressive little fish in the shallows too. Awesome little lure for these sort of situations. Outgoing tide, fish are moving across the flats, casting around the eddies and the little uh, gutters where the water's washing, and little uh, little whiting now the top water. That was the goal. So we get a couple of bigger ones. That downturned mouth, you wouldn't even think they would uh, eat something off the top made for sucking out pippies and worms and yabbies and that out of the sand, but they do eat off the top. Very cool. Let's put him back, eh? There we go, mate. Off you go. Tell your friends. Ooh, yep, got one. Looks like another whiting. Actually, pretty hit, hit it pretty hard then. A little bit of jumping. It's either a whiting or a long tom. I reckon it's a whiting though. Looks like a whiting. Took it pretty hard. It's not a huge fish. Definitely a whiting, but. So we're here for very cool and the water here looks just too good for them not to be whiting though nice flats and then a bit of deep water then the bar across the other side where the waves are breaking it's a bit bigger than the last one it'd be legal for sure this guy yeah check it out That's cool. There you go. Another little whiting on top water. He'd be he'd be a legal fish. He'd be about 26, 27 centimeters. But just on that little uh, 58 mil bass day sugar pen. Nailed it. Hit it pretty hard. Did a little bit of a jump. But just goes to show you can catch whiting on top. So much fun. There you go. Just pinned him in the corner of the mouth there. Nice little whiting. Like I said, about 26, 27 centimeters. But it just goes to show anyone can do this sort of fishing. You know, I'm just walking the flats today, walking the beach, you know, using a light rod and reel, little four to 10 pound samurai reaction little 2500 spin reel, six pound braid, eight, eight pound leader, and um, flicking little tiny lures like this out, having a ball. Yes, they are light lures, so you do need a nice light outfit to be able to cast them. But with this outfit I'm using today, I'm getting this thing out a good 30 meters with the wind at me back. So that's good. But just something to take into consideration. If you are gonna give it a go, you do need the adequate light combo Otherwise, it's just too hard. You won't make the casting distance. And um, yeah, hell of a lot of fun when you do hook up. Feisty little buggers in the shallows. 
foot or two of water. Awesome. I'm gonna get this guy back anyway. There you go, matey. Not a bad fish, actually. Should have kept it. Too late now. Cool. Let's go again. You know, guys, just wrapping up today's session. Had a pretty good time. Just down the beach for probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, got the one long tom and two whiting. But um, it wasn't really about the numbers today. I was catching the whiting on top water, so little stick baits, a little 58 mil Bass Day sugar pan, namely. But anything around that 40 to 60 mil in the popper or stick bait will work well for whiting. But I just wanted to show people that it is possible to catch whiting on top water or well, lures but top water especially it's a lot of fun seeing the strike they do get very aggressive in the shallow water do often cartwheel and carry on jump out of the water like a little mini marlin or a little barra um, they are quite aggressive and it is another way to catch them Let's get yourself a nice light rod and reel something around two to four pound or four, i was using a four to ten pound today that is on the heavy side you can get around two to four pound two to six pound with a little one thousand size reel Oh, this is a two and a half thousand size reel, uh, six pound braid, eight pound leader, and a handful of little lures, you'll have a ball. Just very important, if you are gonna try the small lures, you do need a nice light graphite rod. Otherwise, if you're using a bit of a, uh, a broomstick, you will not get the distance. You'll not be able to cast these lures and you'll be like, what's Luke banging on about? A nice light rod and reel, you can cast these lures a mile and you have a ball doing it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Cheers.